In this video, we're going to use the definition of the derivative of a function shown here to find the derivative of each of these functions. So let's get started. Okay, so according to the definition of the derivative of a function, f prime x, or we could say df dx, or use any of those forms, is the limit as h goes to 0 of... So what is f of x plus h? That's... Okay, that's f of x plus h. Now minus, and we want to put a parenthesis here, all of f of x. Like, you don't just put minus 3x minus 8. You have to put this minus in front of the entire f of x. All over h. Okay, so now let's... Let's simplify this. So we've got 3x plus 3h minus 8 minus 3x plus 8. Okay. Okay, these 3x's go away. These 8's go away. And we've got 3h over h, 3. So f prime of x is equal to 3. And this makes sense because this is a, this is a line. The slope of a line is, the, is constant. The slope of this line at any point, at any x, is 3. So f prime of t, and then we can say... We could say df of t. We could also say d dt f of t is equal to what? So the limit as h approaches 0 of 2 point. So f of t plus h is what? So we do right. That's f of t plus h. Now minus f of t. All over h. So now let's just. Simplify this, so 2.5, now what is t plus h times t plus h? t squared plus th plus th, so plus 2th plus h squared, okay, plus now 6t plus 6h, all right, now here we've got minus 2.5t squared minus 6t. So let's continue to distribute. Let's continue to distribute to expand everything here. So 2.5t squared plus 2.5 times 2 is 5. Okay, plus 6t plus 6h minus 2.5t squared minus 6t. And then, all right, so these 6t's go away. These 2.5t squares go away. And we're left with... Okay, so now we can factor out an h. So we've got h and then 
T. Okay, so now these H's cancel and we're left with Okay, so now as H goes to zero, what does this go to? 5T plus 6. So F prime of T is 5T plus 6. Right, so you've got this, it looks like a, a parabola. At any point in that parabola, if you plug in that point, that, 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 that T here, it'll give you the slope of, the, of this curve at that point. It's interesting. Okay. So, DG DX is equal to the limit as H approaches zero of what? So, G of X plus H is what? 9 minus, and just substitute the x for an x plus h, right? You got to be careful here. Don't just write 9 minus x plus h. You have to put this parentheses, okay? Minus g of x, okay? So for math problems, whenever you see a sum or a subtraction of two radicals, a lot of times you're going to need to multiply by the conjugate. So here we're going to multiply by, by 1 in the form of 9 minus x plus h, then plus, right? That's the conjugate, but we have to multiply by 1 so we don't change anything. So... Okay, so now what do we get? The point of multiplying by the conjugate is that when you do this multiplication, it's going to, going to be greatly simplified. So we multiply, we first multiply these two radicals and we get what? So we get 9 minus x plus h, and then this times this plus this times this is 0. And then we're left with minus what? Minus, we're left with that. Okay, and then we've got on the bottom, now let's distribute this, let's say my nine minus x minus h plus Okay, so now this is, okay, so we've got what? 9 minus x minus h minus 9 plus x, okay? And then, okay, so, This, these minus x plus x, positive 9 minus 9, you see? So now this is really simple, simplified. So we've got, okay, and then minus h. Now these cancel, and we're left with, Okay, so Okay, so now as x approaches 0, h goes to 0, we're left with root 9 minus x plus root 9 minus x. So we're left with 2 root 9 minus x or minus 1. This is g prime of x. All 
All right, last problem. Let's find d of f of x. All right, that's the differentiation operator. Okay, the limit as h approaches 0, f of x plus h, all right, minus what? f of x over h, okay? So, x plus h squared times x plus h squared. What is x plus h times x plus h? It's x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Okay, now then we'll do x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. So minus x to the fourth. Okay, so we've got what? All right, let's distribute this. So we've got x to the fourth plus 2x cubed h plus x squared h, h squared, okay, plus 2x cubed h plus 4 x squared h squared plus 2x h cubed, okay, plus x squared h squared plus 2x h cubed plus h cubed minus x to the fourth. All right, so now these x to the fourths go away, and we're left with what? Okay, 2x cubed h plus 2, wait, 2x cubed h plus 2x cubed h. That's 4x cubed h. Okay, so these we took care of. All right, now x squared h squared, and we have an x squared h squared here, and we have an x squared h squared here. So 4, 5, 6 plus 6 x squared h squared. Okay, now x h cubed. We have two of these, so 2 plus 2, 4 x h cubed. All right, now then we've got an h cubed. All right, now let's factor out an h in the numerator. So we've got 4x cubed plus 6x squared h plus 4x h squared plus h squared. Okay, so these cancel, and we're left with, so we've got 4x cubed Okay, now as h goes to 0, these go, all of these h terms go to 0, and we're left with 4x cubed. So f prime of x is equal to 4x cubed.